everyone. I'm Maggie, a physiotherapy resident here at Zoomers Physiotherapy. And today we're going to talk about a few tips to keep you safe while shoveling the snowy wintry season. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is actually the tool itself. So you want to make sure that when you're purchasing your shovel, that you're thinking about a few things. So you actually want to make sure that you're looking at the length of your shovel. You don't want it too long because then it doesn't let you lever in the right way. So you want it to be an appropriate length that it lets you slightly bend your knees and still get into a comfortable position. It's also best, these bent handles like this are actually better because it kind of lets you lever rather than those straight handles. And when you're looking at the scoop itself, you actually want to have a smaller scoop like this because those bigger ones kind of promote you to take a bigger scoop where you want to stay with the small scoops to stay easy on your back. And the plastic ones are actually better than metal because they're not as heavy. So ours has a metal tip, which actually does make it a little bit heavier. If you get those plastic ones, they're not quite as heavy as you're pushing and shoveling that snow around. So those are the tips on the shovel itself. When we get to the actual job and motion of shoveling, before you start, you want to make sure that you have a good warm up, that you're getting your heart going a little bit, that you're moving your back around to kind of warm up your back, warm up your heart, and then as you're going, making sure to take lots of breaks. And always, if you have any questions, talking to a physio or your doctor if needed, or if you have any health concerns. So really watching out for your heart and your back while you're, t while you're shoveling. And if you need a break, take a break. The other thing is when that heavy snow comes, make sure that you're taking that heavy snow in two layers. So you would take that top layer first, almost skimming off the top, and then getting at the base of it. So doing it in two steps, again, to protect your back and protect your heart. When you actually get to the actual part of the shovel, <laughs> the shoveling part, you want to make sure that you're keeping your hands further apart and that, again, if this was a good size for me, almost down here. And you want to make sure that one hand is near the base of the shovel to allow you to lever a bit more. You want to make sure that you're in a squat position as well, squatting with your legs, keeping your feet hip width apart. You want your knees bent and your back straight. So you really want to make sure that you're not bending at the waist, but you're keeping your back straight and your knees bent, and when you lift, that you're lifting with your legs. So as you lift up that snow, your legs are straightening as well, so you're lifting with your legs and not your back. When you're going to scoop the snow, you want to make sure that you're scooping it in small amounts, and rather than doing that twist that we all love to do, kind of lifting it up over our shoulders, which is actually a lot harder on the back. You want to stay forward, scooping the snow up, stepping forward, and then actually walk it to the bank. So bending at the knees and then stepping forward if you need, lifting a small amount, walking it forward, taking a step and dropping it down. This will make sure that you help protect your back rather than doing a lot of bending and twisting. Alrighty, the next time that that snow comes down and you have to shovel, think of these tips as you head out to clear all that snow away. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.